mysterious attacks on the Eleanor Railroad are the work of an unknown enemy who calls himself the Wrecker. Larry Baker, son of a railroad engineer who was killed in a train crash caused by the Wrecker, believes he has cornered his father's murderer in a hangout where the Wrecker's agents have imprisoned Gloria Martin, the railroad manager's private secretary. Where's the Wrecker? Here he is now. Walter Gray. So you're the Wrecker. Never mind that. All we want out of you is where Baker hid the gold. You'd better come through. We know you were with Baker when he stole the plane. Speak up, all right? <laughs> I'm giving you just one more chance to talk. Up with your hands, everyone. Larry! Well, quick, Gloria, get the police while I keep them covered. So you're the wrecker. The man who murdered my father. I swore I'd get you. You're not going to... Shoot me down in cold blood. Why shouldn't I? You didn't give my father a chance, did you? Don't shoot him, he knows where the gold is. What's the rush, sister? No, you don't. You're staying right here till the record gets through with you. Wonder he wasn't killed. Well, can't we get him to a doctor? Yes, we'll take him to the yard hospital in my car. Aren't you coming, Miss? Why? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm late for work now. Okay, we'll take care of him. You don't have to carry me, boys. I'm all right now. Sir, let's take you to the hospital, so the doc can look you over. No, thanks. I'm not ready for the hospital. Yet. In the paper, in spite of our precautions, they know all about last night's wreck and the loss of the gold shipment. Every time anything happens on the road, they know all about it. It must be the wrecker that tips them off. It's part of his campaign to ruin us. Perhaps our troubles are at an end. Matthews thinks he caught the wrecker last night. Caught the wrecker? Who is he? The man you suspected. 
Walter Gray, head of the Air Transport Company. The detectives are bringing him in, and I want you here to... This is an outrage, Edwards. A vicious attempt to ruin me and my company because you're afraid of our competition. But you can't get away with it, Edwards. You've no case against me. Our case against you is plenty strong. And if that ain't enough, we got Jordan here to testify against you. Jordan, <laughs> a discharged employee. Fired because you didn't believe his story when he himself was on trial. Two can play at this game. I'll sue the railroad for libel and I'll break you, Edwards, before I'm through. Wait here till I come back. I'd advise you to let Gray go, Edwards. Jordan is of no use to us as a witness. You discredited him yourself. And besides, if we... I'm afraid you're right. We know that Gray was at the wreck with his plane, but we have no positive evidence. I have some interesting information for you, Mr. Edwards. What is it, Baker? I just found out who the wrecker is. It's Walter Gray. What? It's a fact. I just saw him meet his gang at their hideout. I tried to capture him, but he got away. That's impossible. Why, Gray's in my office now. How did he get here? We just brought him in on the train. But I had him at the point of a gun not 15 minutes ago. I'm telling you, it couldn't have been Gray you saw. He must be dreaming. He's lying. <laughs> Trying to get even with me for discharging him from my service as an air pilot. That isn't true, Gray, and you know it. My only interest in this matter is finding my father's murderer. I suppose that was why you were on the engine cab last night, running away with the express car. Is that true, Baker? It is true, and he can't deny it. Well, I don't deny it. I was on the engine. But I was only helping a secret agent of the railroad to save the gold shipment from the bandits. A secret agent? Was that one of your men? No. What was the man's name? Why... Uh... Why his name... Well, come to think of it, he didn't tell me his name. Ah, uh, what did it look like? Well, it was night and it was rather dark in the engine cab. I can't describe him very well. Bah, the whole thing's a trumped-up story to save himself. Mm, it looks that way. Yes. For all we know, Baker's the wrecker himself. You're under arrest, Baker. Frisk him, Hammy. He may have a gun. A gold bar. Let me see it. So, you did steal the gold shipment. Come clean now. Where have you hidden the rest of it? Mr. Edwards' office. Put me on Edwards' line. You must be careful, Dad. Someone may be listening in and you may be captured. Now, don't waste time arguing. I know what I'm doing. Hello? Yes, Edward speaking. Who? What? It's Stratton, and he says that he has the gold. Just a moment, Mr. Edwards. Take Baker into the outer office, Hemi, and don't let him get away. Come on, you. What does he say? Stratton accuses me of holding back evidence in his trial. He claims there are papers here that will prove his innocence. That's why he stole the gold shipment, to make me give up those papers. Now, what papers? I haven't the slightest idea what he's talking about. So make him think you've got him. Agree to anything, but get him alone so we can lay a trap and capture him. Uh, very well, Stratton. I accept your terms. Now, what do you want me to do? 
You won't see me, but I'll see you all right. And don't you try any tricks. Well? I'm to take the train to mile post 59. Wait till the train pulls out, then walk south, away from the tracks. Stratton will meet me and... Good, we'll go right along with him. No, that won't do. Scott will be on the lookout, and if he sees you, he won't show up. So much the better. You get off at mile post 59. Hemingway and I'll go on to Forsyth Station. We can get the agent's car there and double back in no time. I'll take a dummy package of documents along with me, and, uh... What is it, Barney? I can't read that Morse code stuff. It's from the wrecker. Come on, we've got to get to the Forsyth station. Here, 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 none of that. You can't pull any tricks on me. You fool, I'm not trying to escape. I just saw two of the wrecker's gang down there. Applesauce. Don't waste time, man, or they'll get away. Get after them. This is our only chance to find out who the wrecker is. Here, here, no, you don't. You get back there, or I'll... Save your apologies, Mr. Edwards. Don't think I'm through with you and your railroad. Hey, Matthews! Baker's getting away! What? Matthews! Wait a minute! There's no time for Baker now. We've barely time to set our trap for Stratton. Yeah, you're right. We can get Baker any time.
Jump in quick and we'll capture the record. Here's a message he sent to his gang. Jump in, Hemi. Let her go. Stop there, Edward. Did you bring those papers, Edwards? Yes, here they are. Why? Your voice is different, Edwards. It must have changed during the years that I spent in jail. Face the other way and put your hands behind your back. Yes. This is the evidence that I need to clear me. All right, Edwards. You've kept your part of the bargain. Now I'll show you where the gold is. You go ahead. My car's over yonder. But Stratton, all right. Edwards is with him, and they're headed for the gold mine. you for those papers, Stratton. I won't give them up. It means my life. It will mean your daughter's life if you don't. Now you show me where the gold is. It's in the mine shaft. away from that dynamite. Not a sound, Stratton, or your daughter dies. 